three more M270 multiple launch rocket systems, MLRS, and an unspecified number of precision-guided M31A1 missiles with an 80-kilometer range are on the way to Ukraine, according to the UK mod. The UK provided three M270s to Ukraine earlier in 2022. The mod stated on August 11 that Ukrainian forces had received training in the UK on how to utilize the launchers to get the most out of the weapons. The UK is one of the top contributors of military hardware to aid Ukraine in fending off the continuing Russian assault. In line with the mod's announcement, the UK will collaborate with allies to build a plan of action to help Ukraine through 2023 and beyond for as long as required as they continue to struggle for their freedom and sovereignty. According to Ben Wallace, the M270 multiple launch rocket system will aid Ukraine in its defense against Russia. The number of weapons being deployed has not been confirmed by the government, but according to the BBC, there will initially be only three. After announcing last week that it would also be providing a rocket system, the U.S. made this choice. The U.S. decision to send its own M142 High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS, has already enraged Moscow, and Russian President Vladimir Putin warned to increase the list of targets Russia will attack in Ukraine in response on Sunday. The UK government stated that the Ukrainian military will be trained in the use of the launchers in the UK. The multiple launch rocket system can fire 12 surface-to-surface -surface missiles in a minute and can hit targets within 50 miles, 80 kilometers, with precise precision, much beyond Ukraine's present artillery. Mr. Wallace stated that the UK was taking the lead in providing Ukrainian military with the critical armaments they need to protect their nation against aggressive invasion. As Russia's methods evolve, so must our support for Ukraine, he added. These extremely powerful multiple launch rocket launchers will allow our Ukrainian partners to better defend themselves against Putin's forces' indiscriminate use of long-range artillery to obliterate cities. The United Kingdom and the United States have led the way in sending weaponry to Ukraine, but providing it with modern long-range rockets represents a significant shift, according to BBC defense correspondent Jonathan Beale. It also acknowledges that Ukraine is struggling to match with Russia's enormous artillery arsenal, he says. This week, Washington announced that it would deliver four HIMARS multiple rocket launchers to Ukraine in exchange for assurances that they would be used solely for defensive purposes and not to strike targets within Russia. The similar restriction applies to the usage of the M270 system in the United Kingdom. The UK has also given around 5,000 next-generation light anti-tank guns, known as NLOC which analysts think have been essential in preventing Russian ground assaults against Ukraine since the crisis began. Additional armament systems given by the government include short-range Brimstone-1 missiles, Mastiff armored vehicles, and Starstreak missile air defense systems, with the government estimating that overall military support to Ukraine has cost £750 million. Many other countries have committed to deliver Ukraine modern weaponry. Germany has agreed to provide its most advanced air defense system, the Iris T, to Ukraine, allowing it to protect an entire city against Russian air raids.